Booyah, Mr. Drew with you on shape. Let's make a keychain. Create. This is what it looks like if you've never used on shape. Create a new document. Your keychain. Yes, everything looks empty, but you'll see there's tutorials and samples to the right or left, I mean. You know, you have a created by me folder, shared with me folder. A few things going on there. Um, we're doing cloud-based modeling, so it's not about the speed of your computer. It's about the speed of your internet. You can do this stuff on a Chromebook, laptop, iPad, whatever it may be. Just get on the internet and get to modeling. All 3D starts with a sketch. It starts with a line. It starts with the drawing. So let's draw some stuff. Sketch. So select the plane. We select the top plane. And we are doing a keychain. I'm thinking a rounded rectangle. Here's my corner rectangle tool. Drag it off of the origin. There we go. Well, let's get a better view. All right. Let's uh, add some dimensions to our geometry. Dimension tool. Select the line. Place the dimension. Give it a value. As you can see, by default, we are in English units, and that's fine. We can change those to metric in the document properties. Uh, let's edit this dimension. Double click. Ta-da. Uh, round the edges with the fillet. Use the fillet tool, you just select the corner. Let's change this fillet to 0.25. And then apply it to the rest of our corners. Next, I would like to create a rim. So I'm going to use my offset tool. And this is going to bump in that line or bump it out. Let's flip it. Select the arrow. Flip. Let's run this thing around. It creates a little ring on the inside. Don't like the distance. It looks a little big. So we can change this. 0.125. Eighth of an inch. All right, let's round that up with a sketch fillet as well. Of 0.125. And apply that to the remaining corners. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. Let me show you how to extrude some stuff. So you have a sketch, green check, right mouse click. You can swing around, see what you're doing. You'll see we're flat. No, we want the meat. <laughs> so let's add meat to this thing. We use the extrude tool right here, extrude. We're gonna extrude this in two steps. The inner piece. Eighth of an inch, green check. Two different heights, two different extrusions. Ah, oh, where'd my sketch go? <laughs> sketch, show sketch. There it is. Extrude. Extrusion two, solid. Add. And this one's going to go to 0.25. We selected add. So we can add this to our original extrusion. We don't want them to be two separate parts. It's all one. There we go. It's all one piece. Green check. Hmm. Let's add some words. Select the surface. As you can see, we are on that surface. And we hit sketch. Or, I'm a shortcut type guy. Shortcut everything, right click, new sketch. So now we are on that surface. We are in sketch two, and the sketch plane is the face of extrude one. And on this face, let's go to the top view, we are going to use our text tool. We will simply draw a text box. 
Hey, tank. You are an amazing student. Good job. You just made your first keychain. Hit enter. And green check. <laughs> let's see where are we at. Whoa, man, that's huge. So let's see what we can do here. Zooming out. Let's drag this over here. So how are we going to center this thing? There we go. See this point here? And you see this point here? We're going to line those up. I select that point. You see the one? I select this point. I'm going to give them a vertical relationship. Put them on top of each other. All right. Let's zoom it out. Now, let's see what happens when we drag that corner in. There you go. See if we can break this up a little bit. Double click your text. No, right click your text. <laughs> right click your text. Let's break this thing up. All right. See, that's almost getting there. We're now we're just stuck on this edge here with that relationship, but we can get rid of it. Put that there. In fact, let's just get rid of all this. Every now and then you screw up. Right? We all screw up from time to time. Alright, we're back in the text tool. Let's try to keep this under 10 minutes, guys. Try to keep it under. I'm done. I'm done. Done. Done, 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 done. Green check. By the way, you could have changed the font there and a few other things and played with it, but just showing you the basics so you can get in, get out. There it is. Done. Nice and flat. Green check. Extrude. Where did you extrude at? Remember, right here. Add some meat to this thing. What are we extruding? Extrude three. It's looking for faces and sketch reasons to extrude. So we have to select something. What do we want? We want our sketch. The only thing in our sketch is text, so it knows. We're done. Ta-da. Green check. We're done. We can add a fillet, which would be a rounded edge. Select that face there. It's at point two. That's kind of big. Drop this down to point. Something real small. Just a slight round edge. There you go. So you can just so you can see what it does. And you have things like chambers. These, let's see, they have that sloped edge. And again, this might be too big of a value for you to see it, but all in all, that's it. There we go. So now that edge is raised up a little bit, sort of sliding down in there. I guess it's a keychain. All we need now is some type of hole, right? Put a hole in it, and we're officially done. Where are you going to put the hole? Right here? All right, let's go. Right click. New sketch. We are on this face right here. Sketch three on the face of extrude one. A hole is a circle. Well, let's use a circle. Waiting on the internet, guys. Oh, I'm telling you. I would have beat ten minutes. If it wasn't for the internet. Green check. I'm out of here, man. Extrude. Let's go. Zoom in. Get this thing. 20 seconds. Can you do it? Can you do it? I have it selected. It's adding material. What's going on, Mr. Drew? It's not working. You're moving around. You're confusing me. Now, the last little step here. 
We've added material up to this point. Now you're just going to remove. So, boom. Now it's going back down through it. So we can drag this arrow in any other direction we want to extrude, any direction we want to add or move. That's pretty much it. The basics of extrusions. And there's your keychain. You're done. It's cloud based. This thing is saved. It's in there. You go back to on shape. And it is in your documents. Thank you for playing. In our next episode, we'll figure out how to export these things so we can print them. Peace.